Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Attack on Titan. Last time on Attack on Titan, we had Can't Look Into His Eyes Yet, uh, Eve of the Counter-Attack Part 1, uh, where after everything that went down in Trost, um, there was a... What the fuck? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the Blu-ray is playing an ad for a live-action Street Fighter. What the hell? Anyway, not the live-action Street Fighter, mind you. This looks like a new live-action... I don't know what the hell's happening. I can't keep looking at this. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so, after everything that went down at Trost, um, there was a tribunal uh, a trial held for uh, Aaron Yeager to see if they should kill him or not kill him. And, uh, the military police was like, kill him! And, uh, the scouts were like, hey, maybe don't. And then, um, uh, Captain Levi beat the shit out of Aaron. And then, uh, the premier, Premier Zachary, was like, yeah, you guys can take him. And there's going to be a test mission, uh, to see how well Aaron does. But if he cannot control his titan form, then Levi will kill him. And that's just that. So, yeah. Nope, it's still going. So that was pretty much that. Um, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Uh, and this is also where I say that if you want to watch my... Dis uh, not discussion. Why do I keep doing that? If you want to watch my reaction to this episode of Attack on Titan, you can head down in the description or to the pinned comment. Click on the link there, and that will take you over to the reaction highlight. You can watch it. Hopefully have a good time. And when you're done with that, you can pop right back over here for the discussion. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this episode of Attack on Titan. I am looking at the camera, right? Yeah, managed to eyeball that. Here we go. Well, folks, I didn't think I'd have to take a shot today, but... I feel like I need to. For Zoe. For the sake of Zoe. Barely have enough drink left for this. All right, to Sonny and Bean. All right, so there's some shenanigans happening here. There's some shenanigans happening here, and it's interesting how. They say, oh, okay, yeah, leave it to the military police. And they say, it's like, oh, who's who's the enemy here? It's like, is there, something, is there something going on? Is the military police maybe trying to sabotage this? Maybe. I do like that they specifically... They, they already know that Sonny and Bean were killed deliberately. And they do know that it was a soldier... Who hightailed it with his, with some ODM gear. So we already know that. We just don't know who it was. You know? Man. That was really interesting. I do like... I do like these episodes where it's really just like... World building. You know? It's just like nice to have some episodes like that. So this was really, really good. I liked it. Oh, excuse me. Jeez Louise. Um, alright, so we can go ahead and hop into the notes on this one. The first thing I wrote down is the Scouts HQ. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, new location, I do like it. And it is kind of funny that, you know, just seeing all the Scouts get into cleaning, you know? It, it, it is kind of nice, you know, having these more in-between uh, moments, you know. Instead of, you know, meeting people in the heat of battle, you know, now we just get to see them as them. And for some of them, like Captain Levi, you know, he's very intimidating. I have to say, if you needed, you know, the perfect voice for Captain Levi, Matt Mercer is probably the best, you know? Like, Matt Mercer, his voice is just beautiful, I have to say. You know, from... And I, I've only heard him in a few things, but he definitely... You know, he every time he plays a character, it's like you can't choose anyone else. It has to be Matt Mercer. Um, whether it's Hit on Dragon Ball Super or, you know, Jotaro Kujo on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now to Captain Levi, it's just perfect, you know? So, 
So more credits to Matt Mercer on uh, his roles here. So yeah, uh, but that was pretty cool. I I do like I do like some of them. You know, actually being nice to Aaron. You know, like there there was the one guy who was like, oh, we put you in the cellar and fuck you and stuff like that. But um, but. Um, but I, I think that was more of maybe of an, an intimidation, uh, thing. They even, they even said like, oh, well, what, you were trying to be Levi? That doesn't work. You're not really like Levi. So the guy was trying to intimidate Aaron, basically. Um, whereas others, like, uh, the one orange haired girl, I don't remember what her name was, but, you know, she was a lot nicer to Aaron and obviously Zoe is too. Um, I can never remember... What did they say her name, her other name is? Wasn't it, um, Hange? Han Hange? Hange? I'm butchering it, however it's pronounced. Um, yeah, I, I kind of just grasped onto Zoe, so that's just what I'm going to call her. Um, so yeah, hopefully, I, I don't know, maybe you guys can correct me, but I don't know, I guess... They said Zoe was her first name, right? So I would imagine it's... You know, it's like saying Aaron instead of, you know, uh, Jaeger, you know? Cadet Jaeger, I guess, so. Um, I'm gonna call her Zoe because I don't remember, I cannot pronounce her other name. Um, you know, it's interesting, Levi doesn't have another name. It's just Levi. You know, it's just Captain Levi. Like, Levi what? Or what Levi? Like, <laughs> his first name is Captain. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like Phil Coulson. Uh, his first name is Captain? Captain Levi? So... I don't know. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I did like, you know, just having a nice... Again, just a nice sort of... I don't know, like, I guess world building or something. Like, it's it's just kind of nice to have these, like, in-between moments in Attack on Titan. You know, where we just see the characters being themselves, you know? So I do like that. Um, now, they did mention that we're going to be getting some new scouts, actually, from uh, some of the graduating cadets. So... They said that basically to sort of bolster the ranks a little bit of the scouts for, you know, this big mission that they're going to be going on with Aaron. Um, and they do specifically say, like, oh, well, yeah, we got to do that because we don't want the military police, you know, filling the rest of our ranks, you know. So they're going to be taking some cadets. I imagine that's how we're going to be getting... Um, I imagine that's how we're going to be getting some of our... Uh, some of the crew back from Trost, you know, Mikasa, Armin, probably, like, you know, Annie, and maybe Jean, it, although Jean wanted to go to the military police, but maybe Jean or Connie or, you know, uh, people like them, maybe Sasha, I don't remember the rest of their names, I've kind of exhausted how many names I remember, but yeah, I would imagine that's how we're going to get them uh, in with the scouts, too, so that we can keep them around, you know, because otherwise they're kind of out of the show, you know, we didn't get... Mikasa or Armin at all in this episode, so, so yeah, I would imagine that's probably what we're going to be doing, so that'd be pretty cool, um, and then we got, uh, Zoe talking about the Titans, which was pretty interesting, I do like that immediately it's like, okay, she's about to go off on, you know, uh, on, uh, a whole monologue about Titans, so everyone else clears off, um, everyone else clears off. And, um, and basically just leaves, they leave Aaron there by himself to deal with her, which is pretty funny. Um, but honestly, it is kind of fascinating to listen to what she has to say about these Titans, you know? So I really like that. We had our two Titans here, uh, Sonny and Bean, uh, interesting names. I like her going over, you know this whole story about these cannibals and stuff and it's also hilarious too she tell she's telling this entire story to the titans who probably can't understand her and then the people that can understand her are the other scouts there that are like getting sick because they have to listen to this again you know so that was really really funny i like that um, but it was interesting, like, getting all the tests and stuff like that, and I like that there are sort of more, you know, there are distinctions between the Titans, like, Sonny was a bit more laid back and reserved, whereas Bean was, you know, uh, a bit more energetic, you know, he really did try to, uh, bite her a couple times, you know, so that was interesting, uh, we got the sensory deprivation, that was an interesting thing, so, it seems, the way they said it, like, you know, 
it it kind of sounds I think she made it sound like they basically just survive off of sunlight like they don't need anything else they're kind of like plants I guess you know some weird friggin plants you know where yeah it sounds like they mainly subsist off of sunlight which does sort of go with you know what they said you know uh, when they found the, you know, the hairball, basically, of all the human remains that Titans had, uh, thrown up. It's because they can't digest properly. Still, it makes me question why the hell do they go after humans? You know, they just do it for the fun, basically, you know. They don't get, like, they can't digest it or anything, and they don't live off of it. So, it is very odd, you know. Um, and it was also interesting to see, like, you know, the different kinds of, like, uh expressions of like pain you know where like again sonny was very reserved if he was in pain he didn't say anything you know he didn't scream whereas bean was a lot more in there you know so that was pretty interesting um and i do like that you know we actually asked zoe like okay why are you so into them you know and you kind of treat them almost like pets honestly and she says she explains why she's been fascinated with how titans work because, yeah, she kicked a three meters, you know, a three meter Titan's head and it was light. And it's like, what? And that's that's an interesting development, actually, that despite their strength and their size and everything, they are incredibly lightweight like that. That's very weird. Like, how does that even work? You know, and it does. I do like how she brings up, you know, the fact that with Aaron, when he actually, you know, transforms, when he actually transforms, you know, the Titan grows around him pretty much out of nowhere. Because that's the thing, it's not that, like, you know, it's not like when uh, Ant-Man becomes Giant-Man or something, or even becomes Ant-Man, honestly, where it is actually, you know, Ant-Man shrinking down or growing in size, but it's all still him. With Aaron, this has been the interesting thing, is that the Titan grows around Aaron. Aaron always stays the same size, and he's just in there, and then he pops out and detaches himself from the rest of the body, you know? Like, that's the interesting thing about his power. So, how does a Titan just grow from him, you know? Like, that's basically what we need to find out, you know? So, again, interesting developments. And I like, I do like Aaron, Aaron actually, like, getting excited and being like, yes, I want to know how this all works, and, you know, clearly Zoe's excited, like, this is probably the first person who's ever been like, yes, I want to learn about this stuff. Something that Aaron would later regret, basically. I thought that was funny that, you know, because, so, basically, she took the entire night to go over basics, and then, by the time of the morning, when Aaron was dead tired, she was like, okay, now let's actually get into my theories and stuff, and it's like, oh my god. Like, this girl can really talk, you know? It's kind of amazing. But I did like that one moment where Aaron was actually, like, excited to, like, learn from her. And she was excited to, you know, talk to him about this, you know? Like, I did like that little moment, even if, you know, um, they didn't really get uh, get anywhere with it. And then, yeah, uh, Sonny and Bean dead. What the hell? Why? 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 How, how did they die? Well, I mean, obviously we know they were killed, but who did it? Who done did it? And is it, It could it be the military police? Is this a plot by the military police maybe to sabotage the scout mission? We don't know. We really don't know. But I will be very curious to see. Um, this basically adds sort of a new mystery to the show, which is interesting. Which, honestly, we kind of haven't had a mystery, you know. We really haven't had a mystery uh, in this show yet. Uh, other than just the general mystery of, you know, Aaron's powers and everything, but that's pretty much it. So, I like that we actually added a mystery. Yeah, I like that. But that's pretty much it. This was a really great episode, and I'm very excited to see where we are going next time. So, that's pretty much it with all that being said. I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Attack on Titan videos, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.